Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we'll take a look inside the AFV 135th 88 flat gun and chat about the upcoming stream series for the build. I hope you enjoy. There are several 88 kits available. I went with the AFE as it was available at a decent price. It had a metal barrel, manageable PE, and the instructions seemed quite detailed. I'm going to try to do it like the box here, but without the armor plate. In the firing position, but with the trailers attached. 15 by 10 by 2 inches, so decent box size. On this side, it shows some built up models in the towed and firing positions. I'm not sure if you can build it as a hybrid of those two. We'll find out. On this side, it highlights the PE, rubber tires, communication wire, and the barrel. The inside of the box is loaded with some other kits they have. I've used the AFV aftermarket items for 135th armor, but never a standalone kit. Let's open up the box. Sprue A. The flash isn't too bad. Sprue B. The detail on that armor plate is very nice. I may have to rethink not adding it. Sprue C. Sprue D. Sprue E. Sprue F. The main base stand. The metal barrel. Again, one of the reasons I selected this one. The PE, the rubber tires, there's a flash ridge there, but it's small. That's an odd tread pattern. That's the chain, plastic hose, and I don't know what those are, barrel sleeves or something. Lots of history info in several languages. The color key, 44 steps. There are close to 400 parts in this kit. As I'm going through this, I'll talk a little bit about the 88. They made over 21,000 of these. There were four marks of the flat gun, 18, 36, 37, and 41. It could fire a 20 pound shell at over 840 meters per second to between eight and 10 kilometers in the air. It could be the most well-known artillery piece of the Second World War. It had a crew of 10 and weighed about 16,000 pounds. It could fire around every three to four seconds. It could also be used in a direct fire roll. That must've been terrifying. Since this is the Mark 18, or early version, it very likely would have been in German gray. I've been doing so much gray lately, I think I'm going to do this one in the dark yellow. So, something different is coming to the channel. I'm going to start a live stream series where I build and paint this up, just for a couple hours on the weekend, starting maybe in late June or early July. In addition to the microphone, I picked up a 1K overhead stream camera and a bench level 4K streaming camera. I spent some time messing around in OBS and I think I have it set up. I'll try to do most of the part prep beforehand so I can focus on the interesting stuff in the stream. So please stay tuned for that. I hope everyone is well and happy modeling. 